Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring with all the techniques combined. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 8x to the 4th plus 10x squared minus 3, and we got to factor this. Well, we can see this is in quadratic form. Now my a value is an 8. That means we have a few options here of setting this up. It can either have an 8x squared times a 1x squared, like that, or we can have some 4x squared times a 2x squared, like this. So we're going to keep that form in mind. Now luckily our c value is a small number, negative 3, and we define the pairs of numbers that multiply to be negative 3. Negative 3 and positive 1, and negative 1 and, well, positive 3. So with that information, we have to ask ourselves, out of the two options here, one of these, 8 or the 4, multiplied by one of these pairs, plus 1 or 2 times the other one of the pairs, gets us a positive 10 here. And kind of telling you the answer here, it's going to be the negative 1 and the positive 3. All right? 2 times a negative 1 plus 4 times a positive 3 is equal to, well, a negative 2 plus a 12, which is a positive 10, what we're looking for. All right? So how can we set this up? So the first part, we don't, we're not using the second part. 2 gets multiplied by the negative 1. Put a minus 1 there. 4 gets multiplied by a positive 3. Put that right there. Now we're actually not done. This can still factor more. This first part factors to be a 2x plus 1 times a 2x minus 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is a negative 1. Add them together, we get a 0, that b value there. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. Bring down the 2x squared plus 3. And our final answer here is 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 times 2x squared plus 3. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.